Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruding. And I'm Erin Frizz. A lost hat is back home once again. But one of our bridge inspectors discovered a Vietnam veteran hat lying along I-75 near State Route 81 near Lima. Well, we turned to social media to try to find the owner. Within just a few hours, Mitch Fury II recognized the hat and called his uncle, Paul Morris. It turns out Morris was taking his wife to the hospital and his slingshot on I-75 when the wind off a semi blew his hat straight off his head. He thought it was gone forever. Morris and Fury drove to our District 1 offices in Lima for a reunion with the hat. Thank you to everyone who shared the social media post and made this possible. A few months ago, we told you how one of our ODOT employees in Southeast Ohio's District 10 located an injured eagle along US 33 in Hocking County. But we're happy to report that the young bald eagle was able to make a full recovery and was released back into the wild last week. No one likes to sit in traffic. That's why we're doing more to identify and address the state's worst points of congestion. The Hunu Guru explains how. All right, John, picture your morning routine, right? You get up, you put the coffee on, you get the kids ready for school, you pack their lunches, you feed the dogs, you get yourself mm. dressed, right? Then you mentally prepare for morning rush hour. But one thing's different. Imagine no bottlenecks, less congestion, all the way to, to work, and that soon could become a reality. What? How is this possible, you say, John? Well, it's simple, Dave. It's called toast. Oh. You mean not the millennial brunch staple piled high with avocado and like lemon zest and flaky salt and olive oil. You know, toast. Or the traffic operations assessment systems tool. That's right. And as technology has become cheaper and more reliable, so has the data. And with access to a lot of real-time data, this new Toast tool helps make our system better so we can make faster decisions, quickly prioritize projects, and reduce these bottlenecks. That's awesome. And less congestion means less crashes and safer roads. Now that's the kind of a Toast we can all agree on. Who, Who knew? knew? Now, Dave, we can't mention Toast without thanking the many people uh, in the districts and here at Central Office that helped plan for, prioritize, and build the Toast tool. It was no small effort, and we appreciate the assistance. Well, I can toast to that, my man. Avocado toast? No, not to that. So far this year, we have recorded more than 20,000 speed-related crashes in our state. That's why we're using our 130 digital message boards to remind drivers to slow down. This week's message, O-H-I-W-O. <laughs> you can always submit your message ideas at zerodeaths.ohio.gov. It's a big milestone for a Holmes County garage. They recently celebrated 10 years without a lost time injury. That's 57,280 days if you're counting. You can read more in this month's transcript. Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media. And we always love seeing your story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And keep sending great videos just like this one from Terry Barnhart and all the district admins. You know, it's actually Terry Barnhart's last week. Gonna miss you, Terry. And now, you're in the loop.